North Clipper, hi friends, Darth Momo here at 3 in the morning Arizona time, but I did not film it then. I don't even remember what the episode was called. Oh, Bounty of Trouble, Bounty of Trouble, I believe. <sighs> eh, that was better. Uh, the IG-88 cameo. <laughs> uh, should have resolved how that it should have showed how it ended though because then it leaves the question of well did the storm were the stormtroopers killed what happened with IG-88 we know he has to escape because he's an Empire Strikes Back no that's not canon okay yeah he was only an Empire Strikes Back canon so um I don't think he was in Return of the Jedi I know Dengar was I know Bosk was I don't think the others were anyway um <laughs> The, again, I don't really like the costume screwing up, kind of. They kind of combined Season 1 and Season 2 Sabine costume. Her uh, bare arms were showing, but she had the tail hair. Um, the Princess Leia costume, and this is more of a nitpick. It doesn't necessarily bad or anything, but I would have preferred they would have kept with the uh, um, Rebels costume we see, because presumably, and this, according to Wikipedia, it takes place shortly before the future of the Force episode, which right after that, they abandoned Garel. so... I mean, and right after they abandoned Garel, they meet with Leia on the fall. And it's kind of the Owen C... or the Darth Vader C-3PO kind of like... It doesn't explicitly state that they haven't met before, but it doesn't state that they have either, so... Uh, a little nitpick, but doesn't necessarily bad or any, it's not necessarily bad or anything, um, otherwise it was alright, Leia undercover and such, uh, the Sabine rope thing, where was that in Rebel Season 1, 2, and 3? I mean, I know she's got the slingshot thing, kind of, the energy thing, but that doesn't come until midway through Season 3, almost to the end of Season 3, actually, um, Let's see, what else is there? Uh, like that they had the Sabine voice, although I don't see why they wouldn't have. Uh, again, the Leia voice, I don't like it. I, I really don't. I think it would have been better if they had just stuck with uh, Julie Dolan from Rebels. Keep a little bit of continuity there like they did with you know Rebels and Freemakers. I'm just trying to think, what else is there? Yeah, we're gonna pause this and let me think. Ah! I didn't really like the end line with the, you keep fighting on the inside, we'll fight on the outside. It just didn't feel like something Sabine would necessarily say, or especially to a authority figure, because Leia is like, higher, much higher up in the authority chain than uh, uh, Sabine is. <coughs> hmm. That's it, that's what I got. Oh, classic Stormtrooper humor with the kind of like, it just kind of felt more so like Rebels, and I really like that when it's like, oh, bounty hunters, they're after the princess, and the one goes, is this paint? <laughs> oh, that, that made me chuckle a little. All right, thank you for joining in, guys. Darth Mo out, and uh, I think this is, since this is the eighth episode, that is the, uh, what I believe reportedly is the conclusion for this segment so i guess we'll see you back in the fall for forces of destiny part two reviews and we'll see you in the end of, at the end of the month for freemaker adventures and sometime in the fall for rebels thank you guys for joining in darth momo out have a nice day may the force be with you thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel if you liked the video comment down below and hit that like button oh and check out some of my other videos i'm sure you'll find them in the light